Okay, let's keep it moving. Chipper United in action at the weekend. Speaking of Gavin Hunt, his side went down 3-1 to Orlando Pirates. Pirates now seemingly just, you know, finding a bit of a groove with their co-coaches. Um, what have you made of, 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 of the results of late, um, the mini revolution, Greg, that you think might be happening under co-coaches Fadlu Davids and Mandla Ngazi? Um, are you seeing something different in this Pirates side or are they... Are they able to extract something that coaches like JZ weren't able to do before? No, I'm seeing I'm seeing something big, big, big different. What I'm seeing at, uh, in the pirate team now is they they they're able to mix things. You know, uh, they they able to mix things now in terms of playing wise. You know, most most time when you play pirates, you always have that pirate team that want to always attack you and uh, without you know taking care of the defensive side. But this time now, you they, 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 they don't play, okay, let me just put, they don't play too much superstars in terms of, they just always, when you're on the ball, you that's when you play. They play players now that they can attack and defend. Which pirate now, they can do both. So I just think there's too, there's too much energy in that team in terms of, you know, never give up attitude. Because, you know, when game going down, uh, one knee down, and they, they never panic, they still play the same way Pirates play. And they went forward and they get they got their goal. And from there on, you know, when Pirates, you know, uh, get a goal like that, they're always going to be on the front foot in terms of, you know, trying to score more. And they did that uh, on, on the weekend. I just think this is a different Pirate team. I think Mandla and, uh, and uh, Fadu, they, they're cooking something that, you know, we be we be we be super to watch uh, in this season, you know. And I just I'm just so I'm just so happy now the way everyone is in combining in terms of you know you have the Tyson, you have the JLA, you know, uh, you know the, the the defensive line now, you know. There's here and there there's lapses, but it's not it's just that often again, you know, because mm. you know the, the, the pirate of you know last season, you know when you score them one goal, there's that panic mode now. All of a sudden everything you know become disarray in terms of how they defend now. But they still keep their structure. They're losing one knee. They still keep their structure. That's how they get. They got their goals in the midfield. There, there's a lot of mobility. There's a lot of players that, that are willing to go to the to attack and defend. And that's the most important uh, important part in, in every team, you know. So and strikers, you know, Pirates always have strikers that they can score. So I'm just I'm just so I'm just so happy for the team and they're doing very well, you know. Uh, I just think they can they, they can they can build from here going forward. Tim, I mean, they've made some changes. That midfield is usually one that's a characteristic of Ben Mutuari. You've got Makaringe and Monari, usually the staples there. But now you're seeing Tsako Makubela, you're seeing Mabaso and uh, Goodman Masele coming through and, and making those positions they're, they're theirs for themselves because you know, we're speaking about squad competition and composition and it seems like the two co-coaches at Pirates have got the blend right where, you know, it's there's a, there's enough of the quality players around to keep the ones that start uh, honest and playing to their maximum as we saw at the weekend? Look, there's one ingredient that uh, is uh, is prevalent in this Paris team, uh, and that's uh, there seems to be harmony. It seems the, the players uh, feel a little bit more comfortable with their co-coaches. Uh, they seem to, to be willing to make the mistakes uh, on the field of play. And, and once a player is willing to make the mistakes, it means that uh, he's going to come out on tops because he's not scared of anything. Uh, so at this moment in time, they, they seem to have a very good rapport between the technical team and the players. Now, this is what I always say, that as a player of Chiefs, Pirates, Sundowns, you are always itching for an opportunity to present itself. In such a moment, once an opportunity presents itself, you are not better than the same player who plays in that position. It's just an opportunity to show what you can do so that in the mind of the coach, you can always be considered for selection if an opportunity arises. Now, you're looking at the likes of Mabaso, Mosede, and Mukbera, who have solidified those positions. The Munares, the Makalenges are not bad players, but the difference is the willingness of the likes of Mabaso, Mosede, and Mukbera to leave everything on the field of play that will cement their position on the team. But for me, what is terrifying at this moment in time, it is the pace at which Pirates is playing right from the middle, going into the final third. Their penetration, their willingness to run without the ball into those channels, willingly crossing the ball for a, a player who is in position to score. 
I think it is very threatening to the opponents. And if not checked, they will go on scoring so many goals and they will try to have high numbers uh, of goals by the end of the season. Definitely, yeah. I, I also feel that one of the, one of the most important uh, factors that got the Pirates the three goals is was the system that was being applied and players showing up. Uh, the likes of uh, Mabaso, who got a man of the match, uh, uh, Mosele. And the most important part now is having the number nine at the top. Uh, Mabaso, Team Mabaso are playing the number nine role help pirates in those in those instances where anything that drops in the box he finishes like the first goal that he got from a shot that came in controlled and then finished in a box you need those striker uh, instances like ronaldo like how we saw on the weekend always lacking in the box looking for those small pieces uh, those those small pieces to convert a goal a striker you need somebody that will always be in the box in comparison to nikovic who is more now wider Mabasa understand he already scored two goals now, profiting from him always positioning himself in the box. And looking at a player like the Shandus, the P. Marco, uh, uh, the, the, for them to add more numbers in the midfield, it gives them a balance when they have to defend. And I think at the end of the day, Chipa, what they didn't do well was maybe trying to uh, pressure uh, the ball carrier on Orlando Pirates and also disturb them from their build-up play, because whenever they get into the middle, they, they, they didn't look uh, stoppable by cheaper. They let the, you would feel that those those three goals that they've scored were just easy goals, but Pirates really, really work for those goals in their movement, and also Mabasa giving a headache to the defense of uh, Chipa United. Hence, uh, they, they got those goals. News coming in today, obviously, was that of uh, Ben Matari being suspended by the club. Um, in the latest update, it seems like the common assault case opened against him was struck off the roll uh, pending investigation. Uh, the club hadn't given details of the, uh, the charges he faced, but it would seem that it has something to do with uh, him and his partner. According to police, Matari handed himself over after a case was opened by his alleged girlfriend. And uh, yeah. So he handed himself over on Monday after a case of common salt was opened against him. The suspect was charged and taken to court. The docket was struck off the roll by the court pending further investigation. So, uh, yeah, not a, not a good look for the club and for the player. Um, you know, GBV obviously being quite a, a serious issue uh, afflicting us as a nation. Um, the club were very quick to act, uh, Greg, in this instance, to suspend Ben Mutwari. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you just wonder, like, is this what, what we're alluding to as being such a harmonious group? Do they really need uh, one of their own making the headlines for all the wrong reasons? Yeah, um, you know, you need to applaud the, the club, you know, most especially the chairman uh, coming out to make sure that, uh, yeah, he puts, yeah, he make a statement and, you know, lets everyone know, the supporters and every football-loving uh, followers in the country that, you know, this is not acceptable, you know. But uh, Pirates, they're not new in this in this, in this this part of, you know, things, you know, because of the feed issue with Pirates, it's a lot of things that come out on the media, you know, which you can't really, you know, go into. I think, you know, last season there was, you know, a lot of things, you know, we weren't talking about their best, one of their best players, um, you know, large that's you know have a lot of uh, issue of the feed. I think last season it really affected them, but I think this season they really you know try to handle a lot of things you know in terms of of the of the pitch issue, which is something that you as a team you know you need to control because you know I have uh, I was in that scenario before in terms of uh, at Swallows with uh, one of our player uh, Larato Chabango. That uh, yeah, you know, superstar, you know, superstar. That you know, on the field he can deliver for you, but off the field there's a lot of things, yeah, going on with him. But you know, we as a team, you know, we 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 stood behind him. We try to you know talk to him and try to keep the the story under wrap. But you know, when you're playing for Pirate Chief Sundowns, yeah, there's no way, there's no place to hide because whatever you do, definitely the, off the field is gonna come. You know, he's going to come on the light. And I think, I just pray, you know, he can, 
he can he can learn from his mistake because all this uh, this kind of situation you know it's not acceptable you know mostly you know as a player that you you really want to progress and do well and your team is is a, is on the front line to compete in terms of winning the league you know so I think they needed him to be in the team they needed him to contribute in his own part but not this issue of defeat I think you know yeah you need to just uh, they, they need you need to he personally you need to you need to look uh, for a way to 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 try to sort out these issues. Tim, how do you reintegrate a player like that, you know, considering the serious charges? Um, what's the best plan of action here for the club? Do they just let the law take its course, keep him out the mix as far as uh, for as long as that process takes? Um, what happens now? Look, immediately the word goes out uh, that uh, the player has been charged. Uh, immediately the powers that be, uh, that's what uh, Pirates is. Actually, we should give them credit for their reaction. They took the right, uh, uh, they, they, they showed leadership uh, irrespective of, of the caliber of player they have got and immediately suspended him indefinitely. Now, there are always two sides to the coin. Now, if the charges have been withdrawn, it brings into the question the legitimacy of the charges. Uh, how do you manage such a player? How do you bring him back to to the club at this moment in time, because if you have suspended him indefinitely, he has to continue training privately to try and keep pace uh, uh, with the rest of the players. But also it's on the responsibility of the club to try and assist both the player and the fiancé in this moment in time to make sure that they, they, they reach an amicable understanding. Uh, what was the real cause? We are in a, an era of uh, GBB and it's, it's very serious. Uh, what is it that a player is saying vis-a-vis -vis what the fiance is saying? So it's a very serious case when it comes to all people involved, not only the player, not only the fiance. We are talking about the club, the fans, uh, all people come into play. Yes, the fans may be biased because they are looking at the player who can contribute to results at points, but we are talking about GBB, which is very serious. So at this moment in time, uh, I'm proud of the club for making that giant decision to suspend the player indefinitely. Uh, whatever will come out, will come from the investigations, will give direction going forward because we cannot use the platform of being a football player at this moment in time in this era to try and promote uh, you know, such kind of behavior. If he's wrong, then he needs assistance to try and come over it. And then we shall welcome him back after he has gone through the rehabilitation. Well, let's see what the road holds ahead for Ben Mutuari. Obviously, that is going to be in the limelight as far as that story is concerned. Uh, whilst the investigation is underway, let's see what comes of it. Maybe like uh, Tim is alluding to, an amicable solution will be sorted out uh, away from the eyes of uh, the media and the public.